In a previous video, we set up our structure section for the about pages on the Crafty Coffee website. And we did that so that we could have a hierarchy between the different pages. But behind the scenes, a structure section is really very similar to a channels section, but with a few different properties like the hierarchy. What I want to do in this video is show how we can create the templates, the twig template, to make these about pages appear. So when we created our structure section, we did create this entry.twig template. And I just put in this little placeholder here so that we could see which page we were on. And this is the interesting thing about a structure section is that we are going to use the same template for all of the different pages. And that makes it very easy and very much like a channel section. If we go back into our settings and we go to our structure section, right here, you can see that we set our entry URI format to be the parent URI, if there is one, and then the slug of the page being viewed. If there isn't a parent URI, then of course that's just going to be probably slash or blank, then slug for the root pages. And then we set the template to be about and then underscore entry, and that way this entry template can never be accessed on its own because it has the underscore. So now I want to code this template so we can bring our about section pages to life. So we're gonna go from this simple thing here at locations, which is the H1, to something that looks a bit more like this. So the first step is to set up our entry template with our base code. And that means getting rid of this and then adding in our extends and we're extending our main layout template, which is in layouts and then main. And then we have to define our blocks. So our block is block main, and that's the one we've defined inside of this main template. And then there we go. And now inside of here is where I'm going to put in the markup and code for this template. To get that, we go to our static templates, and I have that right here, and you download these as part of the course. I'm gonna go down to where the breadcrumbs start, access that all the way down to right before the footer row starts, and copy it, and then bring that over into here and paste it in. Now, as I always do, I like to verify that everything is working properly before I start adding more code. So let's take a look at the front end. Here we are, I'm gonna reload, Oh, wrong one. We're going to go here and reload. All right, perfect. So it's starting to look like the full site. Now we just need to light this up so it is dynamically populating content rather than just the static content. And we'll start up here in our breadcrumbs. Now, because this is just an entry like any other entry, I can access it via entry.title to get the content that we have stored in each entry. The entry object is available to us just like it is in an entry view template, and then we just access the properties for the different fields. And this will be for the breadcrumb, and the same thing here for the title. And then this here for the tagline, don't remember what we called it, so let's take a look. We'll go in here to settings, fields, about. So this is subtitle, so entry.subtitle. And then this is the intro, and that's entry.pageIntro. And then we have our page copy right here, and that field is called page copy. At least that one is the one I can remember. Page copy. There we go. So just like that, I edited one, two, three, four, five places, and I now have a fully dynamic about page. And I can just go down to the top level here of just about, and that will edit that one as well. We can do locations, and then Austin, Texas, and there we go. I don't have any content populated here, but if I did, if I went into my structure section to Austin, and we can say live music capital of the world, is that really still true? And we'll put an intro and page copy and we'll save it. And now if I reload, there we are, we've got it all set. 
Now, one thing you can do on your own is make this background image dynamic as well per page. And we did this with our coffee entries, which we can access right here. Remember we did this here, it would be the same exact thing. You would need to create an additional field here, an assets field in order to add or upload an asset. And then you would also need to place that in the code right into here as a background image. And once you have that in there, then it should dynamically pull in that header image for you automatically. So now we have our about pages with the hierarchy working just as we had expected them to with slash about. And you can also now wire up this section here up at the top to get to that page. And maybe if you wanted to, you could link to the other pages as well or create some sort of navigation. I want you to explore a little bit what is possible within the craft system.